Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back. Thank you so much everyone for checking up on me. Um, I had family in town and I don't know if I had mentioned but we got a puppy and that has been quite overwhelming. Um, I didn't expect so much effort to be taken into that. So um, yeah, that's what I've been doing. It's just like a newborn, you know, they're napping and that's when you get stuff done. So anyway, I got my setup done. Hope you guys like this setup. Um, and I wanted to start with a really easy project since it's been a minute, okay? So this is kind of like a triple pocket album. And instead of um, using like envelopes and things like that, I just thought it'd be fun to use a couple sheets of paper and make this. So when you open it, it has like one pocket here and you open it again and then you have another one. And this part right here is just, sorry, I just put something here just to close it. This is optional, the lid. But I just thought it was fun because you have to, you know, turn it upside down. So if there's something in there, if you want, you could put on all of them. But um, if otherwise, you can leave them all open however you want to do it. And I put a little bit of wiggle room in there. So if you have something kind of like just a little bit bulky, um, you can send it out. And I kind of uh, had this little uh, extra crease in here to give a little bit more room there. So... This is going to be fun. I missed you guys, by the way. I got so many messages and um, just really thankful that you guys miss me as much as I miss recording with you. Okay, so we are going to start with a 11 by 5 sheet of paper. All right, and we're going to go ahead and line it up at the 5 inch score line. And I like this view because I can kind of have my paper right here. And we're going to score it at half an inch and four and a half inches. So this is going to be our little side things. This is great easy snail mail. And again, yes, you could like put a bunch of envelopes together, but this way you can make your own, I don't know, one sheet type thing. Okay, so after you do that, we're going to go ahead and turn it. And this is where you're going to decide where you want your lid and all that. And I actually don't know what side I'm going to use. So if my lid's going this way, um, I think these are going to end up being upside down no matter what. So I'm just going to go ahead and just do it. Okay. Okay, I have to do it this way. Sorry, I it's been a minute since I've crafted, so I have to think in my head. Okay, so when we're going to turn to 11-inch score, and we're going to score it at all these little numbers here, and I'll go over it with you. So it's going to be 2 and 3 quarters three inches, five and three quarters, six inches, eight and three quarters, nine inch. And we're gonna have one more extra just to give it a little wiggle room. So nine and a quarter. All right, so that's all the scoring that we have to do. Get rid of this thing. Okay, so now we're just going to do some cutting. Now I'm going to try and zoom in on this since we're kind of done. So you guys can see more. I like this option that I'm able to do that. And um, so we have these little lines here. We're just going to cut these out. So right where that line starts, this is what we're going to do. I'm just going to cut like that. Kind of like you're doing a box. And this little piece here we're going to cut. So let me go ahead and get in there. So it's going to look like that. And we're going to pretty much do that at every little score line here. So do it again. The easiest way is don't do what I did. Kind of just go like this. And this is going to be folded, so it doesn't matter if it's going to be perfect. Going up to the next one. Oops, I didn't want to start that way. And kind of make sure you get that line because you don't want it to be funky. So how has everyone been? I feel so left out <laughs> watching everyone craft and, you know, it's just crazy. I missed out on so much, I feel like. Okay, and then we're going to get up here. Just go ahead and cut that. And at this top part, this is going to be our lid. So I'm just going to go ahead and chop that off. Right there, like that. Okay, and I'm going to do the other side. Just give it a little kind of square cut, or diagonal cut, sorry. 
and do that. So it definitely has like a box look to it. Okay, and if you want, you can go ahead and do all your little scores now. So it's going to look like it's going to have this little leeway in there like that. So I'm just going to do these real quick. You can use your bone folder. I'm going to do the top. Okay, so and then this is the simple part. Now we're just going to go ahead and do our little pocket. So let's fold these in first. Or pockets. Okay, and the little pockets are going to be... Oh wait, actually, I'm sorry. We do need our score board. So let me just back this up real quick. So the papers, we're going to need four sheets of paper. They're going to be two and a quarter by four. And I wish this wouldn't shake. Okay, and then we're going to score all of them at a half an inch. So put it at the two and a quarter line and just score it once. So do all four of them. And you're only, if you're going to do an open pocket, you only need three. But I'm just going to show you the, office, the uh, option. When I get my monitor hooked up, it's going to be so much easier because <laughs> I'm looking at my camera. Okay, and then I'm just going to go and, sorry, I'm trying to find the right scissor for this. I'm just going to go ahead and cut that just to make it easier to get in there. So just cut the bottom of it at the score line. Oops, sorry. So if you see a little score right there, cut it there. And all of them. I should have done pre-done some of these. Oh, and then the other thing is, I didn't realize, you know, puppies get into everything. So it's not like I can even have them in here when I'm recording because, like, everything I feel is toxic. <laughs> and all my scrap papers and all, you know, your little jemmies and things like that, they're just, like, everywhere and I'm just I'm sh I hope they do grow out of this I hope <laughs> okay so go ahead and you can either use the same paper like I did here which I did the same the cover but I just um, use different pockets just to make it a little bit more fun in this one so I'm just gonna go ahead and fold it at the score so you see that how I folded it down and where's my glue okay now whatever side you're using, so at the back, I'm just gonna go like this. And I'm gonna do my top pocket first and just set it down right there and glue it on. So you're gonna have like this thing. So if you don't even want pockets and you just want a bunch of fun flaps, you can do that and just like cut this off just to make it interactive, whatever you wanna do. Now I'm gonna go ahead and fold these in Okay, and it's going to make a little pocket, so just so you can switch up the look. And then you just fold it up. So there's like number one. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and do the next one. And just to make it fun, I'm going to go ahead and switch the pocket side up. So let me do this side, just to show you, it doesn't have to all be the same, because this is great for like scraps, if you have maybe some scraps you want to use up, you can use them on something like this, okay, I'm going to glue on the sides, got that glued down, and again, you could see how fun it would be if it was just interactive, but this would be great for little embellishments, or um, if you have some just dyes you want to give as a gift. Okay, go ahead and do this one. I'm going to go ahead and glue it down. And just glue the sides. Oops, I put that too close to the edge. So i got to peel this off real quick. 
We'll cut that a little wonky. Okay, so there's your triple pocket. And then if you want to add a lid, you just take this. And I'm just going to corner chomp the top to give it that envelope look. And I will just glue it on the top. So if you want your pockets to go the other way, you can do that too. So you see I glued it, and I'm just going to slide it in there. And it's going to make that. So again, you can leave it, or you can do this. And um, it probably won't look funky like that if you don't use double-sided paper. So yeah, I didn't even realize, yeah, this is double-sided paper. But now's the fun part, just decorating it. And this is that cute little doodle bug line that I didn't get a chance to use. I have some things coming in the mail. So totally looking forward to that. So I'm just going to make this really cute. We'll grab This is just double sided foam tape. Still going on this jumbo roll. It's awesome. Can't believe I haven't had to order another one yet. Let's see if I got some words here. Let me see what I got going on. And then I'm just going to show you the space inside. So let me grab some of these dies and just show you. Like, so if you want to gift some embellishments, and I don't have any made. I literally just wanted to upload something, but look at how much will go in there. So like if you're gifting these, you just tuck a whole bunch of those in. And you can change this measurement, of course. It's just the idea of like the triple envelope album. I thought that would be fun. Oh no, there was, there was like something I was trying to make and it was sitting here. So I was like, hmm, what if I made three of those and made it an album? <laughs> Sometimes I have no idea <laughs> how I, uh, you know, I don't know. It's just when you're craft, you're just sitting there and you don't know how you come up with certain things. Okay, I'm looking for my punch so I can make a thing. And you don't have to do, uh, you know, a little brad there. You can, or you can just, you know, stick something cute on like that. It doesn't have to be always a brad. I feel like I do that so much. So today, oops, I'm going to change it up to this cute little marshmallow guy. This line is adorable, isn't it? I'm just so happy to be back. I hope I can get my uh, craft on and stay that way. Let me see if we have something else. Oh, this is cute. But I don't know if it's going to... All right. I guess I could put it there. So yeah, look at how cute. And then you have that. You can make more and more and more. And then you just fold it and fold it. And then you see how I have a little lead right here when I scored it twice. And you have this, it's, I guess that is kind of like a wallet. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. But um, it's such a fun little album. And then you can decorate the front. I'm just gonna go ahead and put something on here. Because you guys know I'm, I'm limited time here, but I really, just wanted to get something up for you. I just fed the puppy and he is napping. So right here, what I would like to do is actually take Velcro. I, I kind of didn't want to do that little brad, but I'm just going to stick some double foam tape so you can see, just to make it so simple. So if you're doing flat mail or something, I don't know if this would fit in um, flat mail exactly, but um, here it is. So you open it. Ta da and you can decorate it more of course and you have this so that is the album you guys thank you for being so patient i miss you guys and i'm gonna try to get back in the groove i owe you that adorable little easter album that i didn't post and i just couldn't it's actually really easy i just have to prepare for it so that's why i didn't upload that but thanks you guys